Good morning. I welcome you to the Back to Living There's Life After Loss podcast. Uh, if you're watching me live on Facebook, thank you. If this is your first time joining in, welcome. Those that are returning, uh, welcome back. This I don't have a um, an interview today, but wanted to let you know up front, there will be an interview tomorrow morning. So with Tasha Cole, I hope you um, come back and join us on that. But um, this podcast is about overcoming the struggle of finding yourself and finding your purpose after loss of a husband or spouse. Um, and it is uh, my journey as well. So it is beneficial for me to talk about it and my struggles um, that I still struggle two and a half years later. But um, I wanted to get on here and just tell you a little bit about the upcoming months. If you're um, a new widow, haven't gone through the winter months, um, you're cooped up, up up in the house more and it is going to be a struggle. Um, I think that's my hardest times. February is my hardest month. January, February. I got through Christmas, Thanksgiving fairly okay, but um, because I had family around the whole time, kids and grandkids, they make it so wonderful. But then the holiday's over and you're kind of out there. Um, so, in fact, February is my hardest. I lost my dad in January and then in February was my husband's birthday it was, um, we lost him in February, and then um, last year I actually lost uh, one of our 14-year-old dogs that mourned the whole time my husband uh, was gone. He just, uh, well, not the whole, he started mourning and just never really stopped the mourning process. He was, um, he loved my husband and he grieved so much. But, so February is hard. And I was told last year by my doctor that start planning now how I'm going to get through February. So I don't want to stay in the house and stay in the bed all day. So that's what I've started doing. So what are you going to do this fall, this winter, when the nights are longer, the days are shorter, it gets dark much faster. Uh, as soon as the time changes here, it'll be getting dark around 5.30, 5, 5.30. I get home from work at 4.30, so um, I'm not going to have much daylight left. So I am planning to, I have got everything ready um, for an Etsy store because for two years I've done crafts and boxed them up, and I've done more crafts and I've boxed them up. That was some of my therapy. So um, part of that, I'm going to be running an Etsy store. Uh, I'll be making more crafts. That is my, I guess, time. That's my downtime. I can concentrate on what I'm doing and shut everything else out. Sewing and crocheting and attempting to paint, all of that. It's I concentrate on that and I forget everything else. So that helps me. Um, and um, I'm planning or trying to plan, which is going to take up a lot of time, a craft or a vendor show for February that will towards the end of February because that will keep me super busy getting vendors getting advertising out just um, just all of that so I plan to be super busy February but it takes you know months of planning to get that going I don't know if it will ever come to fruition but I'm gonna try my best so I am I'm planning to stay very busy. Um, I, you know, it's a, it, it's hard because this week has been hard. It's been rainy all week and all weekend and I can't really get outside and, and do much. I'd go sit on the back porch for a little while, but then mosquitoes would attack me. So, um, they seem to like the deep woods off as much as I hate it. So, but they're still swarming. So I didn't stay out long. So you're stuck in the house. So um, I urge you to find something now that you can plan on to stay busy. Um, whether it be 
planning a party in the one of the toughest months or to celebrate your spouse or to um, plan a trip or plan trying new meals every week anything that you can plan now put it on the calendar and stick to it shadow quick sorry my cat's down here chewing on plastic he loves plastic and tape stop anyway um stop it i wanted to get on her it's going to be short today um and tell you just just hang in there i know it's tough it's tough for me like i said it's been two and a half years and i still struggle through the times i'm cooped up in the house um i try to go out to dinner with my friends when i can um go out to events when i can but you know they they cost money and i know nearly everyone struggles with money so i try to budget that but even having them the friends over for i don't know coffee i um, plan a little game night or something with your friends at the house just have something on the books that you look forward to that you can carry out that is um that will help you get your mind off of the grief because the grief's not going to go away it'll be there but just to get your mind off of it to um to get you through the tough times um winter you know are, is tough it is hard to get out um, normally in the fall i get out and work in the yard and i plan to do that but um with a job that's hard to do but weekends and mornings I plan to do that so I urge you um, to get something on the books to look forward to something especially that hard month if it's in the winter plan something big something that's going to take some time to plan and time to execute and that will give you something to look forward to um, if you're just starting this journey, I know it may, may not be time for it, but um, just, just hang in there. Um, it will come a time and you'll know the time that, okay, it's time to move now. I've got to get up, got to get dressed. I got to get out of this bed. Um, I've got to see someone, um, even if it's going to a movie. It's, I've still not gone to a movie by myself. I have gone out to eat by myself. It's, it's a little strange, um, but I've done it. Um, so that's all. really all I had to say today is the winter is coming, fall is coming. We're cooped up in the house. It's hard to get out in the yard, sorry, and do things. So um, start planning something now while um, while you have time before the hard before the hard winter months get here, start planning. <laughs> start planning now, and um, you'll have something to look forward to. I know I've repeated myself on here, and I'm sorry about that. But um, I will talk to you. I'll be on here tomorrow for um, an interview with Tasha Cole. And I hope you check back. Again, this is Cheryl Stevens with Back to Living, There's Life After Loss podcast. I hope you um, will subscribe if this has spoken to you at all. If you know of any, shh, if you know of someone going through uh, loss of a spouse that's struggling, um, please have them um, listen in or message me. I'll, I'm be glad to talk to them. I'm not a counselor. I'm not, I'm not anything. I'm a widow going through this, and I know there's widows going through the same thing, widowers, um, and finding your purpose again is a journey, and um, we can go on this journey together and help each other through it. So if this is spoken to you, please um, subscribe, just leave me a message, you can email me, um, follow me on my Instagram, um, share the link. Um, but I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you, and I will uh, talk to you again tomorrow.